Yum. You go on ahead to the shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. I want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy some takoyaki in peace. Anyhow, I'll catch up in a sec. Got some uh, takoyaki. And this one's for you. Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. It's messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Thanks. And still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you, and you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. But remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but I didn't know what I did wrong? I, uh, think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me. For a long time? I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. The other day, when everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said, it put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Hey, come on, eat up. I don't want cold takoyaki, do you? Woohoo, that was tasty! And it's not too bad cold either. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet? I hear you. It's a hell of a decision to make. Look, man. Me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff. But whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've always been jealous of you. You're a special dude. And everyone's always counting on you. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you. Even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So, I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It'd suck to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader?
see you. <laughs> By the way, What's up? Is that your dog? Wow, oh, he looks like a smart one. Unlike his owner. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, how's life, man? And I love how the girl in that show has this mature vibe. You know what I mean? What? Whoa, looks like this guy's had his fair share of fun. Guess we should start heading home then. See, it's cool. Yes? Who is it? Um, it's me. Huh? Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Aw, oh, are you feeling lonely? Hey, are you teasing me? <laughs> nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? If we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kind of wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable, too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user. 
even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. It's amazing commodities! I'm going to do it! Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye-bye. Yeah. 
So, uh, the big meet for that scholarship was yesterday. Are you seriously asking me that? I got first place, of course. Well, what'd you expect? And really, thanks. Guess this means it's really over. Running track, I mean. Kind of makes me feel empty inside. I'm thinking of finding a job, actually. Not to sound dramatic, but... I want to do it to protect my family. I know where, too. My dad had connections at a car factory, so I'll apply there. Thing is, it's pretty far away. Go ahead and order extra noodles. It's on me. Eat as much as you want. You helped me figure a bunch of things out, you know. I always blame school or my family for everything. I was using it as an escape from my own responsibilities. I really lucked out by meeting you. If I hadn't, I'd still be stuck in that same hole. And I'll never forget that. I better start packing. Got a lot of goodbyes to get through and not enough time. We should grab a bite again after school soon. Who knows how many chances we'll get after this. Ramen's just too good to pass up, right? Class is starting.
as ever, no matter how cold it is. We'll be right here, so go play all you want, okay? Recently, I found a recipe for a cake that you can bake with nothing but a microwave. You know, since it's almost Christmas, I wanted to try making something to get in the spirit of things. And depending on the ingredients I use, I might even be able to give some to Korok-chan. something in his mouth. Hmm. I wonder where he keeps finding all this. Oh no, Kuro-chan! Your butt's all dusty now! I guess we should take a bath together again. <laughs> Let's head back. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now.
If I put in my greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. One needle, one soul. This is my super day. My everything. Huh. That cheap material has been completely transformed. I could never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. My home country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. And now, we put the final touches on this kimono. Sure, I am so tired, I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! Nice one. Your biz. 
lunch. Sorry for making you come all the way up here. Well... Would you have a practice match with me? Right here, right now. It's just, now we're going up against that thing that lived inside of you, right? I thought if we sparred, I could get an idea of how well I would do against it. I, I trained in secret for a long time, so I could avenge my mom's death. That was the only time I could forget the pain. When I was alone, swinging my spear. But I've changed since then. I want to use this power to help me live my own life. I'd promised that I'd see this through to the end. I have to make good on that. Anyway, I want you to see me the way I am now, Senpai. Of course, I don't want us to actually get hurt, so I'll be using this. And this one's for you. Thank you for this. Now then? Please, take this seriously. Otherwise, there's no point. I never noticed you could see the stars so clearly up here. You were just as strong as I thought, Senpai. I had no chance. At least, now I know where I stand compared to you. Yes, I gave it my all. Although, it is still frustrating to see such a difference in our skills. I don't know what decision you'll make in the end. But as long as there's time, I won't stop training. So would you mind if I challenged you again sometime? <laughs> you might be right. Either way, there's not much time left. I'll just have to cram ten years' worth of experience into my training. I really like it here. I've made so many memories since coming to this dorm. Both fun and difficult ones. But I feel like living means carrying it all with you and moving forward. I used to think I didn't have a place to call home. But I realized that's not something you get from someone else. Home, my real home, is the place that helps me move forward. That's why I believe fighting to come back here is what Aragaki-san would have wanted. I've learned that everyone at the dorm has their own reasons for staying. And that means I need to do my best, too. I never would have figured that out if I didn't have you all behind me. Let's do <sighs> I like being on the rooftop at night, but maybe it's too cold to be out here in December. Can we talk some more inside? I'd like to go over today's battle before I forget. Oh, and while we're at it, you should say hi to Hamburger, too. Maybe it's because it's winter. But his fur's gotten so fluffy and cute. <laughs> <laughs>